Welcome to Realms Revealed, where we explore the rich tapestry of J.R.R. Tolkien's worlds. Today we embark on a journey through the Lord of the Rings from the unique perspective of Gandalf, one of its most pivotal characters. Gandalf is not merely a wizard, he is a beacon of wisdom and hope in a world shrouded in darkness and despair. Through his eyes, we will witness the unfolding of events that change the fate of Middle-earth. So, sit back as we delve deep into his journey, revealing the motivations, decisions, and ultimate sacrifices that defined his character. Gandalf, originally known as Olorin in the Undying Lands, was one of the Istari, a group of Maya sent by the Valar to aid the free peoples of Middle-earth in their struggle against Sauron. The Istari were not sent to dominate or wield power, but to guide, encourage, and inspire hope in the hearts of those who felt small and insignificant in the face of overwhelming evil. Gandalf's arrival in Middle-earth marked the beginning of a profound commitment to protecting the innocent and defending the realm against the encroaching darkness. He traveled widely from the heights of the Misty Mountains to the depths of the Shire, forging connections with all sorts of beings, elves, dwarves, men and hobbits alike. His deep attachment to the Shire and its inhabitants stemmed from a genuine affection for the simple life led by hobbits, who, despite their small stature and unassuming nature, possessed a remarkable resilience and courage. Throughout his long existence, Gandalf's primary concern was the rising shadow of Sauron, who had returned to Middle-earth in the guise of the Necromancer, a figure whose dark influence spread like a disease. His presence in Mirkwood was alarming, Gandalf sensed the malice growing within the forest and understood that the free peoples needed to unite against this emerging threat. His roaming nature allowed him to gather intelligence and assess the situation, yet he was acutely aware that knowledge alone was insufficient. It was essential to act decisively. Gandalf's purpose was not only to combat Sauron, but also to inspire hope among those who felt defeated by the relentless tide of evil. In his quest for understanding, Gandalf began to delve into the mystery surrounding the One Ring. His investigation into the Ring's history started as a mere curiosity, but soon turned into an obsession as he uncovered the horrific truth. The Ring was the key to Sauron's power, a weapon that could bring ruin to all of Middle-earth. This realization was not just an intellectual exercise, it had real-world implications that would set the stage for the epic events to come. The encounter with Bilbo Baggins in the Shire would prove to be a turning point, intertwining the fates of the Ring, its bearer, and Gandalf himself. Initially, Gandalf treated the matter of the Ring with caution, aware of its corrupting influence. His friendship with Bilbo, the unexpected hero of The Hobbit, was based on trust and mutual respect. However, as time passed, he noticed the peculiar changes in Bilbo's demeanor, his reluctance to part with the Ring, his growing obsession with it, and ultimately the toll it took on his spirit. This only deepened Gandalf's concern, leading him to suspect that the Ring Bilbo had found might be the One Ring. It became crucial to uncover its true nature before it fell into the wrong hands. Gandalf's investigation into the origins of the Ring led him to the harrowing tale of Isildur, the great king who had defeated Sauron in the Second Age. Isildur's fateful decision to keep the Ring for himself, instead of destroying it, not only sealed his own doom, but also allowed Sauron's spirit to endure. As Gandalf traced the history of the Ring, he unearthed the dark legacy of power and the insidious allure it held over those who sought it. He realized that in the wrong hands, the Ring could spell doom, not only for individuals, but for entire nations. This urgency propelled Gandalf to rally the White Council, seeking the wisdom of his fellow wizards and elves, including Galadriel and Elrond. They convened to discuss the impending threat of Sauron, now confirmed as the Necromancer. Gandalf argued passionately for a preemptive strike against Sauron's stronghold in Dol Guldur, emphasizing that the time for action was now. Yet, he faced opposition from Saruman, who, seduced by the allure of power, sought to uncover the secrets of the Ring for himself. This betrayal would haunt Gandalf, marking a crucial moment in the battle against Sauron, as he realized that not all those who wore the mantle of protector had noble intentions. Despite the doubts and challenges posed by Saruman, Gandalf remained undeterred. He understood the stakes involved. The fate of Middle-earth hung in the balance. He resolved to confront the darkness head-on, knowing that the path ahead would be fraught with peril and sacrifice. Thus, Gandalf's quest to understand the Ring 
culminated in a determination to ensure its safety and prevent it from falling into Sauron's grasp. As he prepared for this daunting journey, Gandalf made a crucial decision to send Frodo, the unassuming hobbit, to Rivendell, a strategic choice based on his understanding of both the ring's significance and Frodo's unique resilience. Rivendell represented a sanctuary, a place where the ring could be safeguarded until a larger plan could be forged. However, fate had other plans. Gandalf's own misfortune, resulting from Saruman's treachery, delayed him in this vital mission, setting off a chain of events that would test the strength and resolve of all involved. With this blend of personal investment and broader implications, Gandalf's story intertwines with the fate of Middle-earth, where his wisdom, courage, and sacrifice would ultimately shape the course of history. The decisions he makes and the connections he forges would lead him to face unimaginable challenges, but his unwavering commitment to the fight against darkness would remain a guiding light throughout the epic tale. As the dark clouds of Sauron influence gathered over Middle-earth, Gandalf faced an immediate crisis. The shadows cast by the Nazgûl, those fearsome spectres of Sauron, the Ringwraiths, were closing in on the Shire. He had sent Frodo on his perilous journey to Rivendell, yet he knew the young hobbit would not be safe for long. The weight of this knowledge pressed heavily upon him, compelling him to break free from his captor. Gandalf's escape from Isengard was not merely a flight, it was a desperate bid to thwart the darkness that sought to envelop everything he cherished. Captured by Saruman, his once ally turned rival, Gandalf found himself imprisoned in the Tower of Orthanc a place that reeked of betrayal and treachery. Saruman, once a wise and respected member of the Astari, had succumbed to the seduction of power, seeking the One Ring for himself. As Gandalf looked out from the heights of Isengard, he could see the forces of evil gathering. The trees of the surrounding land, once vibrant and filled with life, were now twisted and corrupted, reflecting the moral decay of Saruman himself. Gandalf knew that time was of the essence. Harnessing his innate powers, Gandalf summoned all his strength and cunning to escape the confines of Isengard. Utilizing a combination of ancient spells and his unyielding will, he managed to break free from Saruman's grasp. The moment he stepped out of Orthanc, Gandalf was consumed by an urgent need to reunite with Frodo and protect him from the relentless pursuit of the Nazgul. Racing against time, he ventured into the wilds, navigating the treacherous landscape filled with dangers both seen and unseen. The connection between Gandalf and the hobbits, particularly Frodo, went deeper than mere friendship. It was one of fate and destiny intertwined. Gandalf had seen in Frodo a potential that few others recognized. He understood that the small, unassuming hobbit bore the weight of the One Ring and the immense burden it carried. As he journeyed through the wilderness, he felt the urgency of the Nazgul's approach, their dark power permeating the air. He had to reach the Shire before they did. Every moment counted. Upon reaching Weathertop, Gandalf knew he was getting closer to Frodo and the Hobbits. However, he also sensed the encroaching danger. His instincts proved correct when he discovered that the Nazgul had already hunted down the young Hobbits, tracking them to this very location. As darkness fell over the land, the air grew cold, and an eerie silence enveloped Weathertop. The sense of dread that settled in his heart was palpable. The Nazgul were near. When the Nazgul emerged, cloaked in shadow and fear, Gandalf faced them with unwavering courage. He was acutely aware that they were not just mere agents of Sauron. They were once great kings, now lost to the darkness, twisted and corrupted by their desire for power. Gandalf's battle against them was not just for his own survival, but for Frodo's and the fate of all Middle-earth. The confrontation was intense, a clash of light against darkness, will against despair. He wielded his staff with great skill, conjuring flames and light to push back the encroaching shadows. Yet, even in victory, the battle took its toll. As he drove the Nazgul back, he sustained injuries that would haunt him later. His efforts were not in vain, however. He successfully protected Frodo and the others, buying them precious time to escape. It was a reminder that while darkness may seem overwhelming, there is always a glimmer of hope to be found in the courage of those willing to stand against it. The battle at Weathertop solidified Gandalf's resolve. The stakes had never been higher, and the journey was far from over. With the threat of the Nazgul temporarily thwarted, Gandalf led Frodo, Aragorn and the other hobbits toward Rivendell. He felt a deep sense of responsibility for their safety, knowing that Frodo bore the burden of the ring. The journey to Rivendell would not be easy. The roads were fraught with danger and the Nazgul would not relent in their pursuit. But Gandalf was resolute. The journey was more than just a physical passage. 
It was a test of character and will. The formation of the Fellowship was not only a tactical decision, but also a testament to Gandalf's wisdom. As they gathered in Rivendell, he carefully considered who would join them. Each member of the Fellowship represented different races and strengths, united in a common cause. This diverse group symbolized the alliance of free peoples against Sauron, each carrying their own hopes, fears and burdens. Gandalf's role as the guiding force was crucial. He would navigate the complexities of their mission and lead them toward their destiny. However, the trials they would face were only just beginning. As they set out from Rivendell, their path took them over the Misty Mountains. The journey was treacherous. They encountered fierce weather, treacherous paths, and the ever-looming threat of discovery by Sauron's forces. Gandalf's leadership during this phase was paramount, his wisdom guiding them through uncertainty and peril. He offered reassurance to the Fellowship, instilling in them the courage to face the darkness. When they reached the mines of Moria, Gandalf felt an ominous sense of foreboding. The ancient halls of the dwarves were a labyrinth of stone and shadow, steeped in history and tragedy. It was here that they encountered not only the remnants of a fallen civilization, but also the terrifying Balrog, a creature of shadow and flame. The confrontation with the Balrog was a battle not just of physical strength, but of ideologies. Gandalf stood firm against the creature, embodying the light and hope that represented all that was good in Middle-earth. As the clash ensued, Gandalf's determination shone brightly. He knew that their very survival depended on his willingness to confront this ancient evil. In that moment, he became a symbol of resistance, standing against the tide of darkness, even as it threatened to consume him. The fight was fierce, and as Gandalf fell into the abyss, he realized the true weight of sacrifice. He would not simply be lost to the darkness. He would rise again, transformed, embodying a renewed commitment to the fight against Sauron. This moment of sacrifice signified a turning point, not only for Gandalf, but for the entire Fellowship. His fall would become a rallying cry, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, hope could rise from despair. As Gandalf faced the Balrog, he understood that his journey was far from over. It was a metamorphosis, a resurrection into a more powerful form, as Gandalf the White. This transition represented a new phase in his mission to protect Middle-earth, his resolve now stronger than ever as he prepared to take on the challenges that lay ahead. Gandalf's journey, filled with trials and tribulations, would continue to unfold, shaping the fate of Middle-earth and its inhabitants. With newfound strength and wisdom, he was poised to guide the Fellowship and the free peoples of Middle-earth toward a confrontation with the darkness that threatened to engulf them all. Gandalf's resurrection was a moment steeped in mystique and purpose, marking a profound transition not just for himself, but for all of Middle-earth. Emerging from the depths of Moria as Gandalf the White, he felt a renewed strength coursing through him. The essence of his being was transformed. He had crossed a threshold and returned with greater power and clarity of purpose. This rebirth signified not just a change in his title, but a fundamental shift in his role in the battle against Sauron. When he rejoined Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, they were astonished to see him alive. The joy and relief on their faces bolstered Gandalf's spirit. He was once again among allies, friends who shared his vision and determination. The trio had faced grave challenges in his absence, and as they recounted their trials, Gandalf understood the dire straits in which they found themselves. The time for action was now, and he had much to contribute. Gandalf quickly recognized that he could no longer be the direct guide to Frodo and the other hobbits. Instead, he had to step back and assume a more strategic role. The battle against Sauron required not just the light of hope, but the wisdom of leadership and foresight. He had to trust that Frodo and Sam were carrying out their mission, embarking on their own perilous journey to destroy the One Ring. Gandalf's faith in the hobbits was unwavering. He knew that their unique resilience and determination were vital to the success of their quest. In this new capacity, 
Gandalf turned his focus to the larger struggle against Sauron. The time had come to unite the free peoples of Middle-earth in a concerted effort to oppose the growing shadow. His previous experience with the White Council, his knowledge of Sauron's strategies and the alliances he had fostered would now serve as the backbone of a collective resistance. Gandalf understood that each race, men, elves, dwarves and hobbits, possessed unique strengths that could be leveraged in this fight. As he travelled through Rohan and Gondor, Gandalf became a harbinger of hope. His presence inspired warriors and common folk alike, reminding them that they were not alone in their struggle against darkness. He sought out King Theoden of Rohan, who had succumbed to despair under Saruman's influence. Gandalf's arrival was a catalyst for Theoden's awakening. He broke the enchantment that had clouded the king's mind, rekindling his spirit and resolve. Their conversations were marked by urgency and determination. Gandalf, with his wisdom and experience, guided Theoden to see the larger picture. The forces of Saruman were advancing, and they needed to rally their troops and prepare for battle. Under Gandalf's guidance, the riders of Rohan stood ready to defend their land, and with renewed purpose, they marched toward Helm's Deep, where they would face an oncoming tide of darkness. Meanwhile, Gandalf was also keenly aware of the situation in Gondor. The siege of Minas Tirith loomed on the horizon, and he understood that every moment counted. He journeyed to Gondor, meeting with Denethor, the steward, who was entrenched in his own despair. Gandalf recognized the importance of uniting the forces of Gondor and Rohan. They could not afford to fight their battles in isolation. He encouraged Denethor to see the necessity of collaboration, to trust in the strength of their combined armies and to bolster the defences of Gondor against the impending attack. As the forces of Sauron descended upon Minas Tirith, Gandalf played a crucial role in organising the defence of the city. The streets that had once echoed with the laughter of children were now filled with the sounds of preparation for war. He moved through the ranks of soldiers, offering words of encouragement and strategy, reminding them that they were fighting not just for their lives, but for the future of all free peoples. He instilled hope in their hearts, emphasizing that even the smallest act of courage could shift the tide of battle. When the battle commenced, Gandalf fought fiercely alongside the defenders of Gondor. He wielded his staff with great skill, summoning light to push back the encroaching darkness. The clash of steel rang through the air as men fought valiantly against the armies of Mordor. The darkness felt palpable, yet Gandalf's presence was a beacon of light. He knew that victory was not guaranteed, but he also understood that the spirit of resistance could never be extinguished. In the midst of chaos, Gandalf's strategic brilliance shone. He coordinated with Aragorn and the others to ensure that their defences held strong directing reinforcements and anticipating the moves of Sauron's forces. It was a relentless onslaught, yet Gandalf remained resolute, ever the strategist, calculating their next moves, drawing on every ounce of wisdom and experience he possessed. He was not just a warrior, but a leader who understood that true strength lay in unity and perseverance. Gandalf's role in the key events leading to Sauron's defeat became more pronounced as the tides of battle shifted. He recognized the need to create diversions, to mislead Sauron about the true objective of their quest. His strategic brilliance led him to concoct a plan to draw Sauron's eye away from Frodo and Sam as they made their way to Mount Doom. He understood that Sauron's gaze needed to be directed toward the forces of Rohan and Gondor, allowing the hobbits to continue their critical mission undetected. With Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli at his side, Gandalf led the charge to the Black Gate of Mordor. The sight of that towering fortress, a symbol of Sauron's malevolence, was a grim reminder of the stakes they faced. As they approached the gates, the vastness of Sauron's army came into view, a sea of blackness that threatened to engulf them. It was a moment filled with tension the air thick with anticipation as Gandalf, the last beacon of hope, prepared to confront the darkness head-on. The final stand at the Black Gate 
was a testament to the resilience of those who dared to resist. The roar of the armies echoed, a symphony of defiance against tyranny. Gandalf, standing tall, rallied the troops, invoking a sense of unity that had been forged through their shared struggles. The cry of battle rang out, and as they surged forward, Gandalf felt the weight of every sacrifice, every act of courage that had brought them to this moment. The climax of the battle was marked by Gandalf's realization of the approaching eagles, a sign of hope in the midst of despair. As the sky darkened, these majestic creatures descended upon the battlefield, a reminder that even in the bleakest of times help could arrive unexpectedly. Gandalf knew that this was a turning point, the tides were shifting, and the fate of Middle-earth hung in the balance. In the throes of battle, Gandalf remained ever vigilant, recognizing the significance of the destruction of the One Ring. He understood that the defeat of Sauron would not come from brute strength alone. It would require the courage and sacrifice of the smallest of creatures. As he fought against the forces of darkness, his mind was focused on Frodo and Sam's perilous journey, hoping against hope that they would succeed. The culmination of their efforts came as the ring was destroyed, shattering Sauron's power and breaking the grip of fear that had ensnared Middle-earth. In that moment, Gandalf realized the true meaning of victory. It was not just about the defeat of an enemy, but the reclamation of hope, the unyielding spirit that had driven them all to fight against despair. He recognized that the journey was far from over, but the seeds of a new beginning had been sown. In the aftermath of the battle, Gandalf reflected on the sacrifices made and the alliances forged. The unity of the free peoples had triumphed over darkness, and while the scars of war remained, hope had been rekindled. His role had shifted from that of a direct guide to a strategist and leader, helping to steer Middle-earth towards a brighter future. Gandalf understood that his journey was intertwined with those of Frodo, Sam, and the Fellowship, each carrying their own burdens but united in their quest for peace. As he prepared to return to the Shire, Gandalf contemplated the profound impact of their journey. He recognized the importance of nurturing the bonds forged in battle, understanding that true strength lay not just in victory but in the connections made along the way. He would ensure that the stories of courage, sacrifice and resilience would be remembered, inspiring future generations to stand against the darkness, no matter how insurmountable it may seem. Gandalf's legacy would endure, and he would continue to watch over Middle-earth, ever vigilant, ready to guide those who sought to protect the light against the shadows that would inevitably arise again. As the dust settled after the climactic battle at the Black Gate, the reality of their victory began to sink in. But for Gandalf, the conclusion of the war was a complex tapestry of emotions. Standing on the battlefield, he felt the weight of all they had accomplished. Yet he could not shake the sorrow that came with the losses endured along the way. He had witnessed countless acts of bravery, moments that could only be described as pure heroism, but he had also seen the cost of that bravery the lives that had been sacrificed in the name of hope. Gandalf understood that the destruction of the One Ring was not just a physical victory over Sauron. It symbolized the reclamation of agency for all free peoples of Middle-earth. It marked a turning point in the ages, the dawn of a new era where the shadow of tyranny could not loom as it once had. Yet, in his heart, he knew that the scars of war would take time to heal. He saw the weary faces of warriors around him, the remnants of their fierce determination mingled with grief. They had triumphed, yes, but at what cost? His attention turned to the heroes of the hour, Frodo and Sam. Their journey was far from over, despite the momentous victory they had all just achieved. The hobbits had carried an unimaginable burden, and Gandalf felt a deep sense of pride in their resilience. He had trusted Frodo to carry the One Ring to its doom, and in doing so, he had placed his faith in the very heart of what it meant to be a hobbit. Courage in the face of overwhelming odds, a willingness to sacrifice for the greater good, and a belief that even the smallest person could change the course of history. 
Now, he would ensure that their sacrifices were recognized and honored. As he stood among the remnants of the battlefield, Gandalf's thoughts turned to Aragorn, who would soon be crowned as King of Gondor. The return of the king was a momentous occasion, and Gandalf knew that this new era would require the guidance of wise and benevolent leadership. He had witnessed Aragorn's growth from a ranger of the north into a true leader, someone who would unify the realms of men and stand firm against any future threats. Gandalf felt an overwhelming sense of hope. Together they could forge a new beginning, one that would honor the sacrifices of those who had come before them. The celebrations in Minas Tirith were bittersweet, marked by a blend of joy and mourning. As the citizens rejoiced, tales of heroism were recounted, songs of bravery filled the air, and laughter erupted from every corner of the city. Yet, beneath the revelry lay an undercurrent of grief for those who had fallen. Gandalf walked among the people, listening to their stories, offering words of comfort and solidarity. He took a moment to visit the Houses of Healing, where the injured were tended to, reflecting on the fragile line between life and death that had defined their recent struggles. In the days that followed, Gandalf continued to play a crucial role in the transition of power. He assisted Aragorn in forming alliances, fostering peace between the various races and rebuilding a fractured world. He encouraged the leaders of Rohan and Gondor to strengthen their bonds, recognizing that true peace could only be maintained through unity. He emphasized the importance of dialogue, understanding, and respect for each other's cultures and histories. This new alliance would be the cornerstone upon which they would build a brighter future, and Gandalf was determined to see it flourish. As he moved through the streets of Minas Tirith, Gandalf found moments to reflect upon his own journey. He had traversed Middle-earth for centuries, witnessing the rise and fall of kingdoms, the enduring strength of friendship, and the sacrifices made in the name of love and honor. Now, he felt the weight of time pressing upon him. The victory over Sauron, while monumental, marked the end of an era, an era in which he had been deeply intertwined with the fate of Middle-earth. With peace restored, Gandalf turned his thoughts to his own path forward. He had guided others through darkness, but now he felt the call of adventure within his own heart. The time had come for him to begin his own journey anew, to explore the corners of Middle-earth that had long been overlooked in the shadow of war. He sought to understand what lay beyond the horizon, to meet new peoples, and to hear the stories of those who lived far from the lands of men, elves, and dwarves. The world was vast and rich with culture, and he longed to witness it in all its glory. Before embarking on this new chapter, Gandalf made a point to visit the Shire. It was a place that had always held a special place in his heart, a reminder of innocence and simple joys. The quietude of the Shire was a stark contrast to the tumultuous events that had transpired, and he looked forward to the peace that enveloped the rolling hills and green fields. He knew that the hobbits had endured much during the War of the Ring, and he wished to see how they had coped and rebuilt their lives. Upon arriving in the Shire, Gandalf was greeted with a warmth that melted the remnants of battle from his heart. The familiar sights and sounds brought a smile to his face. He wandered through Hobbiton, visiting familiar faces and reliving cherished memories. The laughter of children playing, the scent of fresh-baked bread, and the gentle rustle of the trees created a comforting atmosphere that enveloped him like a soft blanket. Gandalf took time to speak with Frodo and Sam, who were now settling into their lives after the war. Their experiences had changed them profoundly, and he could see the weight of their burdens reflected in their eyes. He listened as they shared their stories, recounting moments of bravery, loss, and the beauty they had witnessed along their journey. Gandalf reminded them that their actions had not only saved Middle-earth, but had also created a legacy of hope and resilience for generations to come. Together they spoke of the importance of remembering those who had fallen, ensuring that their stories would be passed down through the ages. 
Gandalf encouraged the hobbits to share their experiences, to weave tales of courage and friendship that would inspire future generations. He understood that the power of storytelling could keep the memory of their sacrifices alive, fostering a spirit of unity among all races of Middle-earth. As the days passed, Gandalf found solace in the simple pleasures of Shire life. He joined in the festivities, celebrating the return of peace with feasts and gatherings. The laughter of hobbits rang in his ears, a sweet melody that filled his heart with joy. He reveled in the beauty of the Shire, watching the sun set over the hills, casting a warm glow that reminded him of all that was worth fighting for. Yet even amidst the tranquility, Gandalf felt the pull of the wider world. He had seen the darkness that could rise again, the shadows that could encroach upon the light, and he understood that vigilance was essential. He spoke with Elrond and Galadriel, wise leaders who shared his concerns about the lingering remnants of Sauron's influence. They discussed the importance of maintaining a watchful eye, ensuring that the scars of war did not fester into new threats. Gandalf knew that his departure from Middle-earth was imminent. The time had come for him to seek solace in the Undying Lands, a place where he could finally rest after centuries of struggle. Yet leaving behind the friends he had forged and the places he had cherished filled him with bittersweet sorrow. He had been a guardian, a protector, a friend. And now he was to say goodbye. On the day of his departure, Gandalf gathered his friends, Frodo, Sam, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, and others. Their hearts were heavy with the weight of parting, but Gandalf reminded them that his journey was not an end, but a continuation of the quest for peace. He spoke of the importance of hope and love, of the bonds that would forever tie them together, no matter the distance. As he prepared to leave, Gandalf felt a sense of profound gratitude for the experiences he had shared with them all. Each friendship, each challenge, and each moment of joy had shaped him into who he was. He knew that the legacy of the Fellowship would endure, their spirits intertwined in the great tapestry of Middle-earth. With a final farewell, Gandalf set forth, leaving the Shire behind. The path ahead was filled with uncertainty, but he felt a deep sense of purpose. He would carry the memories of his friends with him as he travelled beyond the horizon, seeking new adventures and discovering the beauty of worlds yet unseen. As he sailed away into the west, Gandalf knew that his journey would continue, not just in distant lands, but in the hearts of those he had touched. The stories of bravery, friendship and sacrifice would echo throughout time, a testament to the enduring spirit of those who dared to stand against the darkness. The light of hope would continue to shine in Middle-earth, and he would forever be a part of its legacy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more deep dives into Tolkien's works and the worlds of other great fantasy stories.